I'm here in Western Australia's oldest European settlement, Albany. It's a special place to visit and it's no surprise that there are some fantastic dining options nestled amongst the historical beauty of the city. First up, let's head to one of the city's oldest buildings for a little jaunt to provincial France. Gourmandise & Co is a favourite haunt amongst locals and visitors and it's pretty easy to see why. I feel like I've been whisked off to French countryside with the smell of freshly baked baguettes wafting out from the kitchen and all sorts of gourmet goodies lining the shelves. Xavier Poupel is the chef behind the mouth-watering magic here. I actually did a dish who is very traditional, but also very mythic in a French cuisine. It's a rice pudding in a, in, with a twist. So it's an old dish because it's about five, 600 years old. The recipe is from the coast of Normandy. So along the coast, when they came back from India, they stopped to put and swap spice for water. So it's a dish we is actually baked in a wood fire oven here, and it's baked for six hours, very slowly, and it's turned as less as possible. So it, there is a trick, and the trick is come with experience. And then when you remove it, then you can mix it with a little milk, and then what we do here in Gourmandise, in Albany, is we serve it with fruit. It's quite filling, and it's done with risotto, so just a round rice. We use a round rice. So, voila, the tergoul. Next up, we are heading just over the road to a grand old dame, the London Hotel. Now home to the whimsical and chic Parisian charm of Liberté, the romantic interior set the scene for one of the best cocktail and wine bars in the state. The menu is vibrant and packs a French-Vietnamese flavour punch, the perfect accompaniment to this very tempting drinks list. I've dined here countless times and without a doubt, every single dish is amazing. It's hard to pick a favourite. But today we've got three of Chef Amy Hamilton's signature dishes. We've got the chilli crab noodles, um, some beautiful loaded fries, um, and because truffles are in season, there are, of course, truffles on top today, and some tamarind lamb shoulder. I think if I get through all of these, it is going to be a challenge to get to our last stop for today. Orange Tractor Farm is a family-run winery just a short drive from the heart of the city. Focusing on sustainable winemaking, their organic and regenerative practices are driven by owners and farmers, Murray and Pamela with a little help from their dog, Merlo the wine dog. So how did you make your way down to Albany? I'm from here originally, went to Perth to uh, study and work, met Pam and we had the opportunity to, uh, to do something on my parents' beef cattle farm back in the mid 1990s. So what do we have set up in front of us? So we've got our silver service wine flight and we've We've, we've paired um, our wines to some, to some local seafood. So we have some amazing Albany oysters, Albany sardines, some change beach scallops, um, and also some prawns and WA octopus. So for us to, I mean, matching our organically grown um, low sulfur wines to, to seafood that, you know, that comes from such an amazing pristine environment, just seemed it was an obvious thing we needed to do. And the little bonus is the, um, a bit of vintage bling. As you can see, there is really no shortage of options to wine and dine in Albany. The hardest part is fitting it all in. 